In this lesson, pag-uusapan natin ang division of functions. By definition, division of functions is given by f over g of x is equal to f of x over g of x. In this operation, meron tayong restriction. We have to exclude the value of x that will make our denominator g of x equal 0 because it will lead to an undefined expression. In the case of a fraction, kung maalala nyo, iniiwasan natin maging zero yung denominator because it will make the fraction undefined. In the case of a rational expression, meron din tayong mga restriction na bawal maging zero yung denominator kasi magiging undefined yung expression. And this is applicable in this function. Okay, let's say we have the functions f of x and g of x where f of x is equal to x squared minus 4 and g of x is equal to x minus 2. Let us find f over g of x. And by applying the definition, we know that f over g of x is equal to f of x over g of x. So, si f of x, ilalagi lang natin sa numerator. Si g of x, ilalagi natin sa denominator. And take note that our f of x is x squared minus 4 and our g of x is x minus 2. Ayan. And if you look at x squared minus 4 all over x minus 2, this is an example no, of a rational expression. And basically, ang gagawin lang natin dito ay isi-simplify natin. And take note, to simplify a rational expression, tulad ng ginagawa natin sa mga previous lessons, no, especially in grade 8 no, in particular. So, the first step na gagawin natin is to factor completely the numerator and the denominator. So in this case, in order to, to ace or to master division of functions, pwede mong balikan yung mga factoring techniques kasi napaka-helpful nun. If you want to know more about factoring techniques, you can visit this channel para panoorin at maintindihan yung lesson about the different factoring techniques. So in this case, makikita natin that the numerator ay pwede pang i-factor. No? We can factor the numerator completely because this is an example of a difference of two squares. So, recall that the difference of two squares is given by a squared minus b squared and this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. Or simply, the factored form of the difference of two squares is the product of the sum and difference of two terms. And take note, that here, kaya siya tinawag na difference of two squares kasi una meron dalawang terms at ang bawat terms na ito ay perfect square at ang operation natin sa gitna is a minus sign kaya siya difference of two squares. And take note that x squared can be written as x squared, 4 can be written as 2 squared, alright? Because 2 times 2 is 4. And now, the factored form of x squared minus 4 is given by x plus 2 times x minus 2. Take note, or simply pwede mo isipin yung square root na x squared here is x, and then ang square root ni 4 is 2. And then, by applying the pattern, or yung template natin sa difference of two squares, meron tayo isang plus at isang minus. Kaya meron tayong x plus 2 and x minus 2. And take note that our denominator x minus 2 is in its simplest form. So, hindi na natin yan maipofactor pa. Iyan na yan. And, tulad ng ginagawa natin, to simplify a rational expression, we have to cancel out the common factors na meron sa numerator and denominator. And in this case, meron tayong x minus 2 as the common factors. So, we can now cancel this out. And so, matitira sa atin dito is the x plus 2. And therefore, f over g of x is equal to x plus 2. And this is how we divide functions. And that's it. I hope you learned something today. Thank you for watching.